It's me, it's me, it's Nordgar TV, and welcome to the Nordona 500, baby! Rick Dukes Jr. going to take the pole, Justin Bolton on the outside, Matt Smith in third, in fourth going to be Marcus Richardson, Ariadne in fifth, Travis Townsend going to qualify sixth, Jeremy Dominique in seventh, Connor Anton in eighth position, in ninth going to be Mikey V, James Mullins rounding out your top ten, David Shutt in 11th, in 13th, or 12th, going to be Dylan Land or Stephen Landry. Dylan Landry going to be in 13th, Ryan Cobb in 14th, Justin Gardner in 15th, Chance Crum in 16th, Gimple 17th, Munsell 18th, Petrella going to be in 19th, rounding out your top 20, going to be Kevin Linden. Everybody else has qualified, 43 drivers will start this race. I told you I'd do it. Here I am. Everybody drink. Cheers to everybody. Thank you for being here. <laughs> you guys been waiting about two years to see my face. Here you are. You ain't going to see it for very long because we got race in action too. Follow here at Daytona, 500 miles, 200 laps in the Gen 6 cars. No resets, baby. No do-overs. And it's all going to happen down here live right now. Pace car going to be pulling off. You all know what time it is. Green flag. It's time to go bumper up it, baby. Nordtona 500 style. Green, 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 green. Crank it up, baby. There we go. We got the Norgar TV hat, the Norgar TV t-shirt, the logo going here at the Nordtona 500 2014. 43 drivers attempting to win that beautiful trophy. Only one going to go home with the checkers or records, and we got a move for first place already. 36 diving down to the point there in the best Western machine. Oh, man. God, I love this time of year. Lead change right off the bat. Justin Bolton takes the point. Richardson on the outside getting a good push by the 83 Cheerios machine coming out of turn number two. People are moving their three wide down the back stretch. Coming out of turn number four through the trial here at Daytona to complete lap number two. 197 to go, baby. Cheers. Nordtona 500 brought to you by Nordweiser, the official beer of the Redneck Room. Richardson on the outside, front back starting to move away. Rick Dukes Jr. there in the 01, down on the bottom. Driving the General Lee. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the hard work to get to this point. This is our Super Bowl, our granddaddy of them all here at Nordgar TV, and man, look at them run side by side all over the place. Please do not poke me on TeamSpeak. Thank you. And look at the evil Cheetos machine there in the 92. That's about 18th, 19th on back. Making moves on the outside, Marche Edney. Lap number five of 200 here in this 500 miler live on Nordgar TV. Great crowd, 100 plus. 
Let's see if we can double it for the end, baby. Need your help, tweet it out, hit the Facebook, do whatever you gotta do. Run over to your neighbor and shake him and say, Norgard TV's on. The 500 is on. We're gonna be joined by our fellow commentators here shortly, ladies and gentlemen, but for right now, you got me. Let's, uh, uh, I'm gonna get ready for the fellow commentators here as we continue green. Oh, a lot of close racing up front right now. Side by side, these guys actually giving some, a little bit of room here. 43 drivers start this race. Took them a long time to get here, but we are here, folks. We are here, woohoo! Let's take a look here at the most exciting, according to Ira. Oh, and we got three wide fanning out for the front. Rick Dukes Jr. goes through the middle, grabs the outside lane. We got Tommy Lee up in the booth. Hey, Tommy, thanks for joining us. What an exciting beginning to this race, Tommy. Yeah, no, it looks uh, like a good race. You got a front pack, you to break away a little bit. The rest of them are running behind the single file, trying to catch back up. Well, it could be some uh, forms of strategies. I know a lot of guys wanted to ride in the back for the first hour or so, but we got guys going three wide up front. Uh, we just saw Dukes Jr. suck it up through the sucker hole and actually turned right to get in front of the 32 car there on the outside lane. And they're trying to get that out. Uh, to get past 36 well, we talked to Bolton earlier in the pre-race show, and he said he wants to run up front, and Dukes Jr. down to the bottom. Driving the General Lee, baby, the 0-1. Yep, that's exactly who just went to the front. I think we should call him Bo Duke. I agree. <laughs> Thirty-two car pushing up and then dropped him that left behind him. Well, that's you're going to see a lot of that. And uh, now that everybody has seen my face and you've seen the redneck room and you've seen my face, bye bye. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Uh, people have been waiting two years to see my face, Tommy. Finally showed it to him. I hope nobody's disappointed. Well, to me, you look like I've seen you somewhere before. Well, you might have, you might have. It might have been on a wanted poster in your local post office. No, I think you're right. <laughs> we got about four different packs going here right now. Different strategies being played out here early on on the lap number nine of 200, and it looks like they've calmed down a little bit. Yeah, I think everybody was just trying to jockey for position to be able to get in line just to ride. It's like you say, you got 200 laps, you're on lap nine. It's too, uh, way too early to be making some drastic moves. If you're doing. Apparently, apparently uh, we got the race in just in time. I racing is down. All the competitors are in. Uh, nobody can spectate or um, watch who wasn't in the server. So. Uh, Two years in a row, Nortona 500 breaks iRacing. We did it last year, we did it again. <laughs> You'll have to call iRacing and tell them they're gonna have to upgrade their systems. The 500 underway, lap 10. Munsell on the outside, he's got a long way to suck up there on the outside, but you get such huge runs on the outside lane, uh, especially early on, he'll be able to go from about 12th to 4th here in about a lap. Let's take a look at this second pack. It's time for the bumper hump interval already. Armando Layton there in 20th. I'm sorry. 19th is gonna be Derek Rideau in the 29 car. Let's go to the bumper hump interval between, between the uh, two groups. There we go. We go 18th and 19th separated. Oh, not even by a second. Nord, I think the aliens are trying to get a hold of the 81 car. 
Oh, sorry, 3.6 seconds. Yeah, uh, aliens have been spotted. They have been here all week. And I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring the webcam down. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll see you guys later for sure. But uh, let's bring the webcam down and give the drivers their due. Admin still uh, giving instructions. Still watching the track. So multiple packs here going on, and uh, doesn't look like the backpack racing too hard as of yet, but they're losing a lot of ground on the front. Yeah, that second pack, the uh, the Single file now for uh, the back half of the field. Oh, and we got a battle for the lead. Bolton retakes it down on the bottom right in front of Dick's, uh, Dukes Jr. So far, so good here at Daytona. As I always say, hold on to your butts, people. Because, uh... This is definitely, uh, you know, you, you were out there all week. You were out there for speed weeks. This is white knuckle racing every lap. The sweat pours down you. You're grabbing that steering wheel so tight and uh, just trying to stay out of everybody is a chore in itself. And then trying to see through the windshield in front of you is also a huge chore. Connor Anton dives down from the top lane, down to the bottom. The number three, Lowe's, gonna suck up two spots. A lot at stake here, Tommy. Big ass trophy on the line. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, they're done with it. No consequences. Oh, look at the single file there in the second group. They know what they need to get it done to catch back up to the lead. But again, Tommy, very early in this race, I wouldn't be too concerned or worried about where you're running right now as long as you're in a draft, I would think. Yeah, definitely. The, the draft is a big thing here. If you lose the draft, then you drop like a rock. Let's take a look and see if anybody has lost the draft as of yet. Doesn't appear to be that way. Last one, 43rd position, Kyle Gimple. In the 81, he is there. That is last place. He's still in the draft. And there's Chris Scala on the outside. Scala uh, wasn't sure what his strategy was going to be, and looks like he, his strategy is going to be staying and hanging out in the back. Just going to ride. Gonna have a battle for the lead here in a second. Aliens all over the place. I just saw four cars disappear. Dukes Jr. bleaking out. The aliens out in full force. Bolton still your leader, Townsend on the outside there in the 83. Got a lot of help from the 32 here early on. Munsell, what did I tell you about Munsell? He was riding about 12th, he's running sixth now. And here comes Townsend to the bottom and he's gonna bring the 32 with him. Two-car pass for the lead. Mullins going to grab up second place. You know what time it is, Tommy? It's time to do a crank it up bitches and non-bitches. Can't exclude the non-bitches. Let's do a crank it up. Everybody turn it up. Make the walls shake. Make the windows quiver. There we go.
41 getting a little loose there. We better get out of here. Don't want the curse to mess this up. Let's head back up front here and let's do a vo 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 boom. And look how far the backpack is. They're about a whole straightaway behind now. Bolton back to the front, getting in front of Townsend, battling up there for the lead. It's like the top eight. Each other. Number seven. Two big packs, two groups of guys running different strategies. Matt Smith not happy. Lap 21 of 200, Bolton down on the bottom, Townsend back to the high side, Dukes Jr. back to third. So Tommy, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to go over uh, the broadcaster's picks before the race started as we see Townsend getting shoved there on the backside by the 32. Going for the lead again and they're gonna get it. Two car switch, Mullins and Townsend and Mullins actually bumps him into the lead but Townsend doesn't pull down and Mullins gonna take the lead now. Who's, who's your pick for this race, who do you like? Ah, that's a good question, Nord. It's, um, I mean, I got a couple guys out here I'm rooting for. Of course, 83, Travis Townsend, a uh, teammate of mine. We worked together on setups all week and stuff. Um, and I tell you, the one I'd really like to see, I'd like to see that seven chicken pit special get up there in victory lane today. Yeah, I know he definitely is uh, working real hard. Anybody can win it. That's the beautiful thing at Daytona. 43 of the greatest drivers that we've seen here in the last few weeks at Nordgar TV, duking it out, battling it out for 200 laps, live at Daytona here on Nordgar TV. We're still under green. It's a lottery. It's a crapshoot. It's almost impossible to predict. Guys hanging out and riding now. Mullins, your leader in the number 32. Bolton behind him. Dukes Jr. there on the bottom in the 01. Townsend on the outside in the 83 with Munsell right behind him there in the 25. 24, I believe that's David Shutt. Yep, David, uh, yes, David shut in the 24. These guys uh, aren't running their normal numbers, so I gotta be careful. I think I know who they are. Marcus Richardson, who's been strong. Wow, we see guys going below the yellow line, breathing those engines there, Tommy. They're gonna have to watch it. We may see some popped engines before halfway. Yeah, especially because, I mean, with these cars, they most might take you around 50%. And then with the 90 degree weather, it makes it really hard to try to keep things cool, but it makes you super next in the race. But my question is, is who's gonna make the first mistake and who's gonna get caught up in it? A 
lot on the line for these guys. So much effort. So many laps put. So much BS put up with. It'd be a shame to get this far and not finish. All right, let's go to the interval again between uh, the first and second group. 17th of Gardner there. Five point seven seconds separating the two packs right now. That second pack is lined up pretty good single file, but now they're starting to fan out back here in the back. Yeah, and they're going three wide coming through turns one and two right there. 73 in the sucker hole. Bobby Cheney falling down there in the 99. I think he was just getting out of the way. Caressel there in the 94. What a paint scheme for Caressel. Actually, everybody. Oh, that's not Caressel in the 94. My bad. It's pit grass. Yeah, it's pit grass, yes. Thank you. I would like to show, uh, where is it? I mean, these guys take this stuff real seriously. They put a lot of time into their paints, their setups, and everything else. Where's Caressel running? Caressel is running in 26th right now. I'd like to get a shot of Caressel's front end. Oh, we got a car down coming off a of pit road already? Everybody. Uh, yeah, it's a little early for that. Uh, Justin Gable. Was he down on some word. They were looking about... 15, about 15 more laps before green flag stops. Justin Gable. He was down, Aliens. down four laps. Yeah, Aliens got him, I think. Ah, uh, yes, they did. Aliens got him. Luckily, he didn't wreck. Yeah. Uh, where's Caressel running? I want to get a shot of Caressel's paint. 28. Caressel back to 28 now. Uh, check this out. If that is not dedication, I don't know what is. That's awesome. Right there. I like that. Nortona 500 2014 second annual of the Great Redneck Race, baby. Give it up for Caressel and his mate job. up live what's going on all over the place I don't know it is actually becoming chaos and mayhem now these this back group is really racing each other hard there you see the 18 down below the 51 the 6 is going to get a run of Caressel on the outside of the 98 coming down the back stretch meanwhile the front pack trying to settle in and it looks like they have It looks like the top 12 are running double file two by two, and then you got five behind them that are single file on the inside of the line. Too. Nord looks like we've got about 10 to 12 more laps before they start making some green flag stops. Yeah, and I, I bet you some of the drivers weren't counting on this. I know some of the viewers weren't, but uh, so far so good here. Green flag run here at Daytona. 32 laps in the books. So far, caution free. How awesome would it be for this whole thing to run caution free? Yeah, it would be pretty awesome, but you know what really worries me, though, Tommy, is uh, coming down with five to go. That's, yeah. that's what worries me because that is going to be the absolute uh, bane of all patience because there will be no more at that point.
Bolton to the outside. Townsend, Townsend hasn't come down to the bottom at all there in the 83. He is running and committed to that outside lane. We've seen multiple guys use multiple lanes so far in this race. And, uh, but uh, your boy there in the 83, hanging tough on the outside. Yeah, we really worked on that setup a lot. They worked real good on the bottom. It was a little free on the outside going off. Of the worked on it a good bit. I think we got it real good. So if he comes down to the bottom, it was surprising. And the 36 getting one hell of a shove by the 83 coming through the trioval. Bolt back to the point. That back group seems to be creeping further and further away, and that's got to kind of worry you right about now when you know you're within 10 laps of making a green flag pit stop, being like, uh-oh, the guy's up front. But uh, somebody in chat just brought something up, and he said, uh, there may be a wreck coming down pit road under green flag pit stops, although all week uh, we did see a couple guys spin. We did see one caution flag come out, but guys have been practicing the hell out of their green flag pit stops here at Daytona. The excitement, the adrenaline, everything else though, that may fly out the window. Still, yeah, get down to time. Somebody might choke. still very early yet. Let's take a look at the running order as they run right now. Justin Bolt going to be your leader. Mullins in second, Townsend in third, Dukes Jr. going to be in fourth, Munsell in fifth, Brian Boobs O'Shell, we haven't spoken of Boobs all night, Boobs, 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 there's your TV time. Uh, he's going to be running sixth, Evil Cheeto's over there in seventh, David Shutt in eighth, Matt Smith in ninth, Richardson hanging out in the top ten. Three wide coming through the trioval. Richardson Gets out of the gas, averts a major catastrophe, goes up to the higher lane. Richardson looking and peeking to the inside. Munsell staying up high, three wide coming out of two. These guys are still racing. And the back group seeing three wide up front, got it, oh my. And Marcus Richardson all the way to the bottom, and he's going to grab the 83. Richardson goes from 10th to about 6th in two turns. 19 car moving up through the field. The guys running in the backpack right now, seeing all this three wide racing, got to be loving it. And look at the five getting a run, the 32 coming up the track a little bit. Move your ass back down there, there, get back in line. Too early to be blocking, Tommy. Number five of Levy to the outside trying to go for the point. And look at where Richardson is there in the 19. In one lap, he goes from 12th to second. Can't pass here at Daytona with these rules. <laughs> yeah, right. Got a lot of flack for that all week, and we're seeing the exact opposite right now. Cheetos down to the bottom. My heart is pounding. Can you imagine how these drivers are feeling right now coming up on green flag pit stops? I think Tommy yep. went for some hot pretzels. Nah, get pretty nerve-wracking right there when it comes down to pit stops. Yeah, because everybody's going to be scheduled. Some guys are going to want to stay out while leaders come in. And uh, the last, like, three nights for qualifying, we saw fuel strategy totally play out. So when you pit here may affect the end of the race. 
And looky, looky, Bolton back to the point. Sorry, it's Libby. My bad. You told me that before. I forget. Bolton does take that lap. Libby in the five on the outside. Richardson right behind him in the 19. Along with Townsend and Munsell running that outside lane. Everybody else all single filed up all the way back to Matt Smith there. Take a look at the bumper hump interval now. See who's been having trouble. Looks like Alex Peck ran into some trouble. But Gable, six laps down out there by himself, does not have the draft. Kyle Kimple there in the 81, still hanging near the back. Same with Scala. Bolton, Limey, Mullins, your top three. Thinking about three wide, nope, not gonna do it. You know, you can have all the strategies you want, Tommy, when you start one of these races, but once that green flag drops, most drivers forget about them. They just go yes. right out the window. That's what Dale Earnhardt told uh, Mike the computer in the uh, race he got killed in. All the strategies in the world work until the green flag drops. Richardson to the outside now, trying to do something. Libby to the point, right in front of the 36. Bolton back to second. Michael Libby, new lead change, new leader up front here at Daytona. Let's go to the uh, interval. The bumper hump interval, baby. That's the only place you're gonna see a bumper hump interval is here on North Car TV. 27th of Gardner right there, running in 18th. Differential between 18th and 19th is going to be, I'm sorry, 17th and 18th. 8.4 seconds, back group still losing time. We got guys calling for pits. Green flag pit stop's gonna start. Not in the front group, they're not. Here comes the back group though. A whole bunch of them coming down, being led by Mike Johnson. The 18 of Landry. Green flag pit stops. The 51, the 4, the 88. 35 already to his stall. Now the field's going to get broken up. There's Mikey V in the 75. We haven't spoken to Mikey all night. Leaders coming down here, bro. Yep, Bolton bringing it down. Libby gonna continue around, but Bolton pulls off the group. There in the 36, the 32, the 83 of Townsend, the 01 of Dukes Jr. The 38, the 31, the 42. Let's head down to the end of pit road. Let's check in on the green cone. Green cone last night. Bordeaux is off the track. 98 down away. It looks like these guys are taking tires. We asked some of the drivers earlier about that, whether they were going to take tires or not. It looks like they're taking them. There's Kyle Putz in the Caterpillar machine, Ryan Flood, Nick Caressel. Next group coming down, being led by Richardson there, the Miller Lite machine. The 
38 Toys R Us machine, and you can see right there, aliens having fun with everybody. Hit road really busy right now, lap 46 of 200. Wow, and they're four wide coming out of pit road. Nowhere for them to run. Scala down and away. Great pit stops for all. I don't see any penalties whatsoever at all. None. Everybody did everything right. Except Bobby Cheney's going to come. Oh, and the aliens messing with him. Bobby Cheney going to be down there by himself. The green cone is happy, happy, happy. Now look at this. We're going to have a lot of shoveling around. Shuffling around. Did I say shoveling? Yes, I did. That's because there's been a lot of snow. And Bobby Cheney coming back down pit road. I think the 99 had problems. Green cone. Green cone again. Green cone will not hijack the broadcast tonight. I refuse. All right, multiple guys coming off pit road. David Shutt, your leader right now in the 24, but Shutt is gonna get eaten up by the rest of the field there, out all by himself. Here they come, Richardson with a whole line behind him. Gonna blow by Shutt like he's parked. Whoa, and Townsend gets into the five of Livey there, trying to check up for David. Not a lot of damage, but vendor fornication for sure. Everybody completed their pit stop without a penalty. How in the world did that just happen, Tommy? That's a good question right there. We let the 24 shut, come off pit road, and stay down on the bottom in front of everybody. And they just kind of checked up 83 of towns and got into the back of somebody and got a pretty good bit of front end damage on them. Marcus Richardson, your leader now. And they're lining all back up again. The pack's finding themselves again. Dukes Jr. not having a good stop. He is back to about 17th now. Libby's getting shuffled out of line there on the outside. We got a wreck coming out. Can't penalize people when they're four wide. Obviously somebody knows nothing about racing. But he's gone. He gone. Anybody whose name is Xbox Live Gamer. <laughs> Go back to Xbox, buddy. Thanks for playing. We'll be seeing you. Bye bye. <laughs> Well, one guy did get penalized. One guy got a black flag, but I think it's for connection issues. That's Brian Ray. Yeah, we saw smoke there just a little while ago. Let's go back a couple of laps. We need uh, we need Schwint and uh, yeah, right there. We got a smoker. I think that's Gardner. Gardner in the 27 there, looking at the replay. Let's see what happened to him. Oh, he's going to smack the wall pretty good. Oh, the 90, he gets into the 92, 92 up into him. and Oh, what a shame. Not sure what happened to the 29 of Bordeaux. Uh, looks like they come down pit road and he got hit in the rear end. And, I mean, a little bit of damage, but not much. We're still under green, though. Wow, all this excitement. 52 laps in the books here. 
So far, so good. And yeah, Marche Edney there, the 92, received enough damage he had to bring his car down to pit road. Under green. He kept it out of the groove, did a good job. Going by Cheney there. Dukes Jr. running in 15th, back up front. Justin Bolton has retaken the lead up front. Let's go to the most exciting again. Looks like the 83 of Towns is bringing it back down to the road to get some of the damage fixed. Looks like he got it on the uh, right rear quarter panel. Uh, the whole nose is crushed in on pretty good. Uh, it's going to be bad under green. Some of these guys Please need to the yellow. Channel. Now we got James Wilms up in the booth now. James, how you been? How's the race been so far down there from the admin booth? Holy cow, what do you think of them pits, Nord? Wow, um, I don't know. We had uh, one guy in chat who's no longer with us saying that there should have been all kinds of penalties because they were four wide coming down pit road, but obviously that particular person who plays Xbox and Xbox only knows nothing about racing. You can't penalize people because they're four wide. You can't get to the right. What are you supposed to do? Exactly. If that would have been under caution, it would have been a difference. Well, not even under caution, because you're exiting, you're racing off pit road. So, I mean, it's a race within a race. So, yeah, that was... Yeah, that, that was, was all legal. That all was all legit. It. Yeah, that was all... That was that was just great. That was just great exits is what that was. People going for every chance they get. Uh, I need to get an update, though, on Brian Ray. What happened to Brian Ray? We saw him get an EOL. Was it connection issues or something else we missed? Uh, Mr. Brian Ray did not stay. He come back into the pits for a second time. We don't know why, but uh, he didn't stay to the right. He didn't. That's oh, okay. Case. So he did receive a penalty. All right. Yes, sir. Well, what What's a up, race! <clears throat> what a race so far, there, James. Uh, Fifty-five laps under uh, green. Wow. Awesome. I'm I wondering if I turn the cautions on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think there's really been anything to cause a caution. I mean, well, we just saw uh, Townsend and Marche get into a pretty bad wreck coming out of turn two, but uh, they were able, uh, and uh, it was a 29 as well. Three wide coming down the front stretch, but everybody was able to keep it out of the way. Uh, but the 92 definitely messed up. The 83 back out there right now. He had his uh, nose caved in a little bit, and there was another caller involved. I can't remember who it was now. I think it was the 29. 27. 27 car. Yep. In those green flag pits, we got word on uh, Bobby Cheney's crew that uh, he got speeding in pits. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had to come down a second time, and that's detrimental here under green at Daytona. Let's check in with uh, Nordtona 500 winner 2013, Dustin Lee. Dustin Lee, defending champ there, running in 25th right now behind the 48 of uh, Linden. And just in front of Tyler Sifford right now. Looks like, James, we got a lot of different strategies being played out. I don't think anybody thought it was going to go this far under green. Um, and some of the strategies may be coming back to bite him in the ass. I think so. A lot of them guys, we got a lot of tough runners that started in the back uh, thinking of that. And I think they're probably kicking themselves in the ass. Maybe why Mr. Cheney was in a big hurry to get out so he wasn't losing much time. And that actually ended up costing him bigger. Yeah, Bobby Cheney right now, they're in the 99 Teenage Mutant Ninja car running 33rd. And there's somebody else I want to check in on. Where is the Slamiflage? We haven't spoken of Matt most of the night. And where is he? Looks like he's running in 33rd or 34th. 34th. I don't see the Slamiflage. He is coming through turn four right now. There he is. Slamiflage running uh, 34th right now. They're in the 33 car. He's got Scala up in front of him. Scala going high. 94 going to go low. They're going to switch it up. Yeah, it looks like this five-car pack is going to do a little switch and run here. Trying to catch up. 
They're going to have to stay single file. We got all kinds of packs all over the place now. Marcus Richardson leading them around though, with Justin Bolton right behind him on the, or, yeah, right in second on the outside. Livey on the outside there in the five, and the 32 of uh, Mullins doing a great job in up front. But Marcus, after those pit stops, Richardson uh, was hanging around in 12th, and we saw Richardson go from 12th to uh, second in one lap. A lot of people were wow. saying passing was impossible here, and we watched him do it. Weave in and out of traffic. He got a good shove, and uh, yeah, he went from 12th to second in one lap. And we've seen multiple guys, along with Munsell as well, there in the 25, and even uh, Matt Smith right there, passing three, four cars in a lap. So. It's able to pass. It's just all who you all have to work with. It seems like. Well, you know, this is a different race. We got a lot, a lot more laps than 100 laps. So, it, you know, in those, in our qualifying races, I think, you know, there was a lot at stake. Top six had to make it, so there was a lot of good, a lot of racing that had to be done. So passing was kind of hard. Well, now we got into these longer laps, you know running double file all race just ain't going to happen so when you get a single file run and all of a sudden you get a couple three or four cars that are wanting to come out and you know do some passing that's where it's coming into play we are at lap 60 of 200 still under green here live on Nordgar tv from daytona speedway the nortona 500 2014 still underway as they cross the stripe right there These guys really not doing a lot of pushing and shoving, I will say that. But uh, you can tell who really has a good setup underneath their hood right now. Pull, and, I mean, the front group just pulling away, pulling away from that back group earlier on, James, who was all lined up single file, about 20 cars deep. Yeah, I was actually uh, early on before the green flags was uh, hanging out with Simpson for a while, and uh, him and the four card hooked up. They were in the back of the pack that they were in, and they just passed the whole line. Everybody is somewhere else on the track right now. We got multiple groups all over this place. It's hard to keep up with all the action going on. Let's go back up front. Looking from uh, behind the 25, from Justin Munsell. There's Matt Smith in the eight. They are running six and seventh right now, looking ahead at the leaders. Looks like Munsell's got a little bit of damage on his back end there. For the most part though, sheet metal, pretty straight. Look at Townsend giving a push to the 41. 83 of Townsend running in 36 there after that small little incident. Uh-oh, aliens. Michael Leiby taking the point now. Well, currently, I don't know if we should jinx it, but Townsend is in a uh, good position for Lucky Dog right now. So. I bet you there's uh, quite a few drivers out there hoping for a caution, but uh, these front runners right now doing a great job staying out of one another. It's funny how the field breaks up after pit stops. We saw about four different rounds, four different uh, laps where guys came down together. And uh, coming back out, we saw the two big groups close back up together again. And uh, the two other groups, they're all together again, but uh, way behind now. And Bolton to the outside. Oh, and Bolton throwing a block, going to the outside, back down to the bottom to save that second spot right in front of Mullins. You know who else we haven't talked to about for a while there, Tommy, and that is Ari Adi. Where is Mr. Adi running currently right now? He is 12th right now in that main pack, hanging out near the back, running his Toys R Us scheme today. Yeah, he's just hanging back, laying some laps down, just trying to get this thing closer to the end before he starts making a move.
Townsend going to the outside. Looks like he may be trying to air out his radiator a little bit. But Townsend not in a position to lose this draft, Tommy. He can. He's got to stay up with these guys. Yeah, he's currently batting in 26. Uh, Mark Johnson, I believe so it is. Mike Johnson for the uh, lucky dollar right now. Well, lead change number four as the 25 and the 19 go by the five of Libby on the outside. The 19 elects to stay to the outside lane. Munsell coming down thinking he was going to pick up the lead, but man, is Marcus fast on that outside lane. Right now, out of the race, I think Bordeaux is the only one off the track. No, Gardner as well. And Gardner and Marche is on pit road. Marche is still on pit road. Gable is out there seven laps down. Ray, two laps down after the penalty. Bobby Cheney, after getting a speeding penalty, one lap down. Johnson, one lap down. Travis Townsend, one lap down. 35 cars still on the lead lap. Lap 67. I think it's time for another crank it up, bitches and non-bitches. What do you guys think? Go for it. All right, all right. should probably tell him that the, he only needs to lead one. That's the last one. That's the only one that matters. That's the only one anybody's going to remember anyway. Leiby back down to the bottom. Richardson to the outside. Can and Michael Leiby get a good shove from Munsell there in the Best Buy machine to take the lap. Not this time. Richardson still on the lead. Richardson very fast on that outside lane. Here comes Leiby out of turn number two getting one hell of a run. And O'Shell squeezes the car in line on the inside. Well, I was kind of thinking he should have done that when Marcus came up in front of him, but he had room, it looked like, but he never did it. Well, still a long way to go. It's, uh, it's still way too early to be taking any chances right now. But they're well, taking... you want to lead one lap, at least one lap during the big one? Uh, yeah, I want to lead the last one. I don't care about the rest of the race. <laughs> could care less about the rest of the race. As long as I lead the last one, that's the only one that matters. Munsell on the outside now there in the 25 battle in Libby. And Libby still your leader on the outside. Outside lane quicker today, folks. And look at this. There, look at that camera shot. That camera shot shows a single file line starting wide. to creep up on these guys that are running three wide. 41 to the back of the line there on the outside. Going to have to take a look at the bumper hump interval again here because the back group is coming. Being led by the Caterpillar machine. I think that's putts. Monsell down to the bottom lane, chops the nose off the five, coming out of turn number two. Monsell to the point. Let's uh, bumper hump interval, baby. I love the bumper hump interval. That's Kyle Putz in 14th. We're going to gauge Chance Crum there in 13th, driving the 100 car. He did that on purpose because he knows I hate three digits. <laughs> Crum 
Crum and putt, 7.5 seconds. We'll leave the interval up there. Pretty steady here coming into turn number one. And we'll see if uh, they are actually gaining any ground on these guys. It looks Excuse like the 92 of Marche Edney has retired his car from the race. Marche done for the day. My evil Cheetos. Evil Cheetos just got sat on by a fat lady on a bus. Shall we drag him down into the booth? Yeah, why don't we uh, try to get a word in uh, with Evil Cheetos if he'll talk to us. He may, uh, you know what happens, you know, I say this before, but, uh, you know, when you get out of the race early, you got to deal with it. You got to, you got to sign, sign those big fat boobs. Yeah. Yeah, see if we can get Marche to talk to with, with us. User was moved to your channel. Marche Edney, welcome to the Redneck Room. Hey, I'm here. Marche, tough break. They're coming out of turn number two. Tell us about the wreck. Uh, um, well, it was a mistake on my part. Uh, I just got loose going into the corner. Maybe because of the two tires, actually. But, uh, not enough to say, but a mess up on my part. Well, he Almost, shape. Sorry, go ahead, James. While he was running out there, he was running pretty strong up there in that front pack. How was it when you were there? Fine. My car's fast. I mean, you know, like I said, it was just a, just a mess up on my part. That's all I really can say about that. But, um... Front pack wasn't, it may look dangerous up there, but it's not too dangerous. They're just hanging out, uh, trying to get to the end of the race. Well, you worked hard all week. You got to wait another year now. Um, I'm sure you're very disappointed. Oh, yeah, most definitely disappointed. But, um, you know, I learned a lot from it. Um, obviously, my setup is a lot loose. After I you know, put some laps on it, the car's fine. But <sighs> um, yeah, I'll definitely learn from this and, and come back next year. And try again. Well, thank you very much, Marche. We know you got uh, some more big fat boobs to sign, so uh, we'll let you get back to it. But uh, thanks for talking to us. And uh, man, feel bad for you. Sorry. We want everybody to win, but uh, you know, you've been with us here at Norgar TV. Well, pretty much from the beginning, man. And uh, these big races, you know, they only come up usually once a year. And I don't know. Maybe we'll see you at, uh, maybe we'll see you in victory lane for, oh, I don't know, the, the was it, Nordweiser 600 this year coming up? Oh, yeah. I've got a coming up this year. Um, got a, I, got, I already have a setup set up for that already. But um, I'll be racing in, um, the leads, uh, A class, and the trucks this year. I'm skipping out on the B series, but uh, I look forward to those uh, starting next week as well. All right. Well, uh, yep. Wednesday we'll be uh, we'll be back here at D Daytona in the trucks, and then Thursday we'll be here at the A series again. So, but it's going to be different. It's going to be fixed setups with default weather. So, but. Uh, running so many laps here it looks like you, you know you definitely got your seat time got some practice and you know how to get it done so we'll see you uh we'll see you wednesday night all right thanks guys thanks marche thank you marche three wide up front user left your channel marcus in the 83 of townsend who's hanging tough but townsend needs a break to get back on the lead lap I guess it's time to start talking about it again, guys. Uh, we're about six to eight laps away from green flag pit stops again. I was just thinking the same thing. Guys running real, real well up front. Let's take a look uh, through, the, let's go through the whole order right now. Richardson, Monsell, top. You got Townsend in the 83 there. 
Michael Leiby there in the five in third. In fourth is going to be Boobs. Sorry, Boobs is fifth. Bolton is uh, fourth. And we see some uh, trading going on there. Smith there in sixth. Seventh is going to be Mullins. Dominique. We haven't spoken to Dominique all race. Dominique has creeped his way from the back up into the top ten now. Jeremy there in the 34 in eighth. David Shutt in ninth. He's been hanging in the top ten as well as Connor Anton there in the three car. Gardner scored 43rd, but that's incorrect. He's 11th. Uh, Mike Johnson is, it says 32nd, 37th. Take your pick. Ariadne in 11th. Chance Crum in 12th, 13th. I mean, they, they just keep shifting positions like every turn. Yeah, I Kyle. just got word down from track there at the admin room uh, that uh, second group is hauling. Oh. Making some time up. They're catching that pack. I don't know if they'll do it before pits come in. but Yeah, they've knocked it down to 5.2 seconds now. Let's take a look at the bumper hump interval. 4.7. Uh, it's between Chance Crum and Kyle Putz right there. Crum driving the 100 and uh, Kyle Putz. They're in the Caterpillar machine. Yep, 4.7 seconds and, uh, well, kind of stable right now. So did you guys happen to see the... Uh, the world premiere of the bumper hump song i missed it nord james did you see it i seen it loved it What'd that was think? good <laughs> we have to thank kyle putz and matt simpson for that one because uh i had nothing to do with it um as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure they got those uh those sound bites from the actual nordgard tv spotter pack if you haven't tried out the Norgard TV Spotter Pack, head, head over to www.norgard.tv. It's right on the front page. Click it, download it, insert it into your iRacing thing, and get ready to laugh while you're racing. Yeah, I think that's a lot of my problem, Nord. I've got the Spotter Pack, and I'm too busy laughing to concentrate on the race. Yeah, that could be part of the problem. And uh, there, it, it's on the board to do a big, big, massive update. That uh, Spotter Pack, uh, we recorded, uh, well... I recorded and people edited over 2,500 different sounds, and it took a while to put together. And uh, the thought of doing it again kind of hurts. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of work <laughs> to put it together. But uh, it came out real, real good, and it's really fun. And, you know, if you guys are tired of the Jimmy Johnson spotter pack or the, uh, the spotter pack, you know, the default one or whatever, give Norgar TV spotter pack a try. Uh, because it's bumper humping time every time you go racing here at iRacing. Uh, but the next one we actually talked about, and as I said, it is on the board to do. We talked about doing double the amount of sounds. We're going to go, we're going to shoot for 5,000 next time. Holy cow. All right, Nord, I'm going to head back down to the admin room. Uh, green flag should be coming up shortly, so all right. we'll send somebody else up your way when we're all done. All right, thank you very much, James. James heading back down. User left your channel. Take a look at pit stops as they will beginning to begin to happen here in the next two or so laps. Uh, I don't see anybody yelling for pit stops as of yet, but I see you guys on the radio. Livey is your leader right now, being followed by Richardson and Munsell. Taking off laps here. We're almost halfway through Three this wide sucker. For, uh, what is it, seventh position, sixth? Great crowd on hand. I'd like to say hello to everybody out in Twitch chat. Let me know you're alive. Give me a hell yeah, Nord, out in chat right now. If you're alive, enjoying the race here live on Nordgar TV from Daytona, the Nordtona 500. Give me a hell yeah, Nord, out in chat. See if your pulse is still there. Is it still beating? Mine sure as hell is. I'm nervous for all these guys. I've been, I was nervous all morning, and I'm not even in the race. I kept telling them, Ms. Nordgar all day, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. And she's like, what's your problem? You've done a million of these races. I said, I've only ever done one Nord Tona 500 before. I want everything to go smoothly. I want the racers to have a good time. I want the viewers to have a good time. And I want everybody to enjoy themselves. And uh, my adrenaline was going this morning. There, I had so much to do. I got up at 6.30 this morning. I had so much to do to, 
prepare to make sure all the passwords were out. I had to put out 40 some odd emails and uh, I didn't think I was going to get I had to eat. I had to take a shower. I had to, you know, shave my face and I had to actually go to the store. And I, blah, 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 blah. I did a whole bunch of stuff here to get ready for this and I didn't know if I was going to make it. There, we got a whole bunch of hell yeahs, hell yeahs, hell yeahs, everybody. That's what I want to see. Looks like the lead pipe starting to get a little racy up here now. Yeah, they're getting a little racy, trying to gain every spot they can to get ready to come down pit road. I'm surprised we're here on lap 86 yet that we have not seen pit stops as of yet. Last time they stopped was lap 42 is when they started. So I'm we're sure already showing the 83 of towns and they have about two and a half gallons left well they'll be stopping here very shortly but uh, they are already four laps over what they ran uh, last time will they gain another four laps if they do there should only there should be a two more stop race Richardson continuing to lead him around, got Bolton on the outside, and that's exactly what Bolton said he wanted to do. Wanted to ride up front, and that's what he's doing right now. Sounds like the second group is gonna make their pit stops on lap 89. Coming up on the slam of Matt Simpson about to go a lap down, and he is desperately trying to push pip grass through three, uh, into three and four there. They want to stay on that lead lap. You're not going to get your lap back, Tommy, under green here. It's just not going to happen. Nope. And that group is coming up fast on them. Take a look at the second group. The second group still eh, making a little bit of ground, being led by Kyle Putz there. These guys wanted to play it smart all race, and as I said earlier, it may have, it may be biting them in the ass. <laughs> uh, looking, uh, I did that cold. <laughs> that happened too. Ay, 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 too much information. I think we should uh, we should tune in to the green cone here shortly. Here they come. First round of pit stops. We're going to have a group of four. Going to break off. One of them disappeared. Oh, and Slamouflage getting out of the way, going up top. The 94 going to have to do the same, I think. No, he's going to dive back in. And he's going to get a bumper hump down the back stretch from the 26. Pit stop starting here, lap 89. Let's go down to pit lane. Here they come. Bolton, Munsell, they're gonna peel off. Not a lot of guys coming down there. There's the 82 of Gable who's multiple laps down. Uh, Chris Scala running in 30th. He's down in a way. 81 down in a way. a good shot from pit lane. This car's going to be exiting is uh, Matt Smith. Justin Bolton uh, there in the 36 taking quite some time down there in his pit stall. I wonder if there's a problem. We're getting in full finally. Dukes Jr. down in the 01, your pole sitter. Here comes basically all the lead pipe right here. Oh. Look how fast. Dick Berger can run. Incident. Oh no, yeah, we got guys in the grass that will not bring out the yellow. They're going to be able to keep it uh, clean there. Lap 91 of 200. But he's going to miss his pit. He's going to miss pit entry completely. Not only is that going to be a penalty, but he's going to lose a lap. Here in the crash. Off of pit road. All 
grouped up, coming off a of pit road. Got to enter on the back stretch. Things get messed up. Who had the 41 of Brian Shell got into the back of the 32 and started that incident right there on the pit road. I'm sure there's cursing over the radio right now, Tommy. Oh, definitely. You can only hear. down and away, Armando late. Takes a long time to get up to speed here at Daytona, about two laps fully under, uh, you know, under drafting conditions. It takes about two laps to fully get up there, but really, really a lonely place when you're out there all by yourself. Bobby Chaney coming down. Let's see if he'll have a clean pit stop this time. 75 of Mikey V. 55 miles an hour down pit road painstakingly slow while everybody else is out there running 200 miles an hour. We're up to 141 viewers. Can we get over 200? Is that possible? That'd be absolutely awesome. We have now officially uh, broken the uh, real record. Or no, we have not. No, the real record's 150 normal viewers. Unofficial record's 230. But people were cheating, Tommy. They were cheating. Just a tad. Yeah, they had uh, they had multiple windows open. But uh, trying to look at it, yeah, we, it looks it looks legit. That list there, the viewer list, very, very long right now on Norgar TV, and I appreciate everybody here. Hope you guys are having a great time. Caution free so far, we're just about halfway. Mikey V scored your leader now. Got Bobby Cheney behind him. No, Munsell, your leader. Here we go, there is your lead pack. Pit stops finishing up. It's all about getting on and off pit road, Tommy, as cleanly and quickly as possible with no mistakes. That seems to be, you know, thus far, who's going to determine who's going to be leading this thing. Yeah, it's getting real interesting up here. Everybody's uh, kind of forcing some stuff that you normally wouldn't see them do. The number six just blew up. No! Yep, I heard the motor go. Number six? Yes, sir. There he is. Number six blows up. Let's go on board with him. He was behind Putts on the outside trying to push and uh, got it too hot and just grenaded it. What did I say about an hour ago? We're going to see some popped engines around halfway and there's the first victim. That's a shame running the Nortona 500 paint scheme. Kind of partial to that. But Caressel going to be done for the day. Unfortunately, let's head back up. Munsell, your leader, Matt Smith, in second. And look at this, Nord. On the outside of uh, Munsell, you got the 83 and the 26, who are both a lap down, trying to get pushed past the leaders to get it back the hard way and pray for a caution. Well, if they do get it back the hard way, yeah, that would be impressive. But there's not going to be much they can do without even more help. And, uh, they're going to have the leaders right on their tail. Munsell, Smith, Bolton, your top three. Second group coming, though. Blimp driver. He's been drinking too many Nordweisers already this afternoon. first group and here comes your second group and the second group side by side racing one another and uh, that's going to cost them some time
user. Ah, I'd rather channel. not. Joseph Petrick. Petrick, what happened to you? Well, I tried all week, Nord. Blew my motor a couple times on that oil. I don't wonder if that's what happened to Nick. Yeah, Caressa blew up. Uh, definitely uh, coming down there, but uh, what have you Looks been like seeing? Looks like we might get a word in with Mr. Caressa here in just a minute. Yeah, what have you been seeing down there on the track from uh, your point of view? It's been a good race, Nord. It's, it's uh, really got a couple packs going here, and it's going to be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it is going to be interesting. <clears throat> I'm surprised. I'm interested in, in right now that the, the drivers just got to be like, okay, we're going green the whole way. I didn't want to bring up the C word at all because it's, it's been uh, real nice watching this green run. Yeah, this yeah, it's not at all what you would expect at Daytona, but, uh, you know, hey, we still got 100 laps to go. We're going to hit halfway next time by. And uh, we see three packs now starting to line up. And uh, they should be able to uh, reel in this lead pack as long as they keep racing side by side up front. We did see a lot of three wide racing earlier on, jockeying for position early, you know, earlier in the race. And that's kind of died down right now. Guys ticking off laps, parading around pretty much. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to push it too hard right now. They're kind of content where they are. Well, remember, the uh, the qualifying race is 250 miles, 100 laps. So right now they've just run a qualifying race. And we saw uh, a lot of guys barely make it to the end with their engines during the qualifying race, which brings up a good question now is, will these engines under these conditions, these this heat and the humidity, will they be able to go another 100 laps? Or are we going to see a lot of people pop their engines? Well, when Nick lost his, I heard you mention in the stream that uh, we're about halfway and we're going to see more of this. So I kind of anticipate that if people don't watch that oil temp. Because uh, when I popped mine in the qualifiers twice, it was the oil. It was not the water at all. It was nice and cool. Well, green flag pit stops. Uh, I'm looking to see after I'm, uh, you know obviously I'm not connected into the admins right now but it doesn't look like there was any penalties there on that round of uh, green flag pit stops unbelievable these racers have absolutely brought their A game here today and they're looking at Kyle Putts running in uh, where's Kyle Putts he's running in eighth right now they're all single file pushing through the tri oval, which is totally legal. You can do that. That's no problem, and they're gaining. Let's go to the bumper hump interval now. Let's see what we got going on. 1.9 seconds separating the groups now. Back group we'll is coming. They are side. Just a minute. Yeah, they are side by side up front, and the back group knows they need to stay single file. And they are moving 1.7. They're gaining a tenth. They're gaining a tenth every four or five hundred feet. User was moved out of your channel. Well, thank you very much, Petrick. Thought we were going to word him with uh, Caressel, but it looks like he uh, disconnected from TeamSpeak. Yeah, he's uh, he's not happy. I'm sure there's a, a helmet broken somewhere, and uh, he may be slapping his crew chief silly with a flip flop. User was Watch. moved to your channel. Now we got Tyler Ducharme in the nine. Tyler, how have you been enjoying the race so far? Uh, it's been a good race so far. It's fun to watch. Unbelievable amount of excitement that's been going on. Green flag pit stops. People gaining 12 spots in one lap. Lots of three wide action. I mean, what more can you ask for here? And here comes the second group. They're within a one-tenth now. They can sniff the draft. And we're going to be back to 20 under the main group here in a second. Yeah, it's been fun to watch uh, these guys back here be on the sleep pack. They're back at 10, at 10 seconds, was it? 32 cars still on the lead lap. How many are still running? 
a lot are still running. It looks like 39 still running, if Gable's still out there. Yes, he is. 39 the cars pack. still running. Second pack has caught the first, and we are back under a blanket here at Daytona on lap 104. Oh, my mama, crank it up. Somebody spinning on the front stretch. Ooh. He's no way off. He's way off the track, though. Who was that? Uh, Kyle Gimple. Gimple. Kyle Gimple in the 81. He was way off the track, track and out of the way. Oh, in the 32. That's Townsend. No, 32 or is. Not, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Mullins. Mullins, yeah. Ooh. Let's take a look at this. They keep it down. They keep it down. They don't come a back across the racing service, and that won't bring out the yellow flag. Are they able to move on their own power? Ooh. Gimple turned around. Mullins hits really hard. Mullins gets weird. it off, and it looks like Gimple there. He's going to get it moving. So unbelievable. We've seen a couple of spins, but no yellows. Gimple going to bring it down pit road. We're still under green, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the bottom line, because Nordgar said so. Holy hell. Unbelievable. And look at the front group now being led by, who's in the lead, Justin Bolton there in the 36 on the outside, and he has got a couple of guys. And uh, the 83 of Townsend and the 26 do get their lap back the hard way and get in front, and they are actually leading this field at the tail end of the lead lap. These guys got their foot in it, and they're digging. How's it going, everyone? That's Nicholas Caressel. Caressel, first of all, are you okay? Yep, just fine, just blew it up. Uh, got, some, got some damage on the back stretch there, uh, coming out of the pits, caught cuts too fast. He told me to give him a shot, gave him a shot, and it did in the front end. I gotta tell you, uh, that paint scheme would have been epic would it have got to victory lane. Thank you very much for the paint scheme. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> uh, no problem. But sorry that you're sitting here watching the rest of the race. 109 laps in the books, no yellow flags yet, man. Shocking, I mean... We had a few times where people get turned into corners. I mean, me, myself, I even got turned in the corner, and uh, everybody's holding on to it. It's good drivers out here. Well, it was 43 of the top drivers able to get in through all the BS all week long. Out there riding around now as you see Bolton getting by. The number eight is Smith there. Going to challenge the lap cars that are down on the bottom, the 26 and the uh, 83. We got quite the pack up front with 90 to go. There oh no, there it is! Here comes a big one! Up front, lap car, here comes the rest of the field! Lap 110 in the top 20 in trouble! Oh my! This is going to put a bunch of new players. Wow, the game has completely changed now. First caution of the night. Let's ride along with User the number 26. Mike Johnson, let's go to the chopper view. Looks like the number eight of Matt Smith just got loose and went down the track and caught him in the right rear. Yep, Matt Man, Smith. He's been fighting that all week. 
Matt Smith hard down into the 26, and look at everybody just wad him up coming out of turn number two. 41, I see his engine blow. And this is going to set up some drama for the last half of this race that is not going to be predictable whatsoever at all. Some guys relieved, some guys pissed off, some guys screaming, some people laughing. Got a little evil grin on the bottom of their face. But Matt Smith, car breaks loose. Let's go to the rear chase here of the number eight. Going to wad up the whole front of the field. Welcome to Daytona, bitches and non-bitches. Oh, my mama. Look at that. You can see him in there wheeling the car, trying to save it. Just everybody. You know what? I'm counting 11 cars involved in that accident. Well, 11 cars is not 32. So there's going to be a lot of guys with good stuff out there still. Let's uh, let's go behind all of this. Let's uh, wow. Well, we got a stoppage of play finally. Uh, I was wondering if I turned the yellows on, and now I know that I did. <laughs> oh, <whew! laughs> on my part. Hey, Norton, look who got the lucky dog. Townsend. With that car having damage, and he was able to hang up there like he has. Uh, I think they uh, got something to reckon with on him. All right, well, let's go on board with Gardner and watch him through this wreck. Everybody crank it up. Pit Road's going to be busy now. Wow, and Gardner gets through that. Uh, let's fall back a few more. Uh, let's see here. Let's go on board with Libby. Libby immediately out of the gas. That's a smart race car driver right there. He knew they weren't saving that. 11 cars involved in wreck number one, lap 112. Here at Daytona, we're just over 250 miles. Oh, he actually does receive some damage right there. Pit road busy. And now we can uh, take this time to take a little break. If you need a stretch, stretch your legs, go grab a drink, let your dog out for a shit, go have a smoke, go have some sex. We'll be right back.
unbelievable run for these guys. And uh, just, wow. I mean, what do you guys have to say about what you've been watching so far? 110 laps, green flag running. That says a whole lot about the drivers that you got out here. Just wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. Was, uh, I'm back up in the redneck room now. Uh, waving to all the crowd out there. You guys wanted to see my face. Here it is again uh, under caution. And looks like Chance Crum having some issues with uh, getting into his pit stall here. Not sure what's going on. I, I, I can't believe what we've been seeing. Um, I can't say that I didn't see that coming, but uh, it could have been a lot worse, folks. Yep. This caution is going to put a bunch of guys back in the game that were a lap down. Yep. A lot of guys getting their lap back. They are doubled up. We are going to go green flag racing again on lap 115. Unbelievable. Anyway, thank you viewers very much for tuning in for the Nordona 500 2014 this year. What a show we've seen so far. Just over halfway. We still got a whole bunch more action coming to you live here on Norgar TV. And I haven't said this except for the start of the race. I'm going to get to say it again live on camera for you guys. Is Bolton going to lead them down? It's time to go bumper humping, baby. Green, green, green! There's still a lot of cars out there, guys. So, let's uh, take yeah, a look here. Yeah, well, cautions do breed cautions, and we see three wide coming out of turn number two. Guy's going to definitely shuffle and move as fast as they can to get to the front now at this point. Connor Anton still down on pit road. Let's see uh, how many guys are still left on the lead lap. That's going to be 26 now. We got multiple guys. Richardson involved in that. Pep Grass involved in that. Ariadne involved in that. Brian Ray still hanging on. He's two laps down, but he's up in the main group. Anton Smith down on pit road as well as Boobs, uh, Landry Johnson, Gable Gimple, unbelievable. Back to green flag racing, and you know what we're going to see now is is a lot of guys. We definitely have two races in one now. We got uh, the guys running up front just trying to run, but we got a lot of guys and a lot of strong guys who were running up front going to be racing for that lucky dog, hoping and praying that the yellow does come out again. Your leader right now is going to be Ryan Cobb going to go to the point in the 51. We haven't spoken to him all day. Yeah, he was part of that second pack that was catching that lead pack. And we got Dukes Jr. who uh, had a slow pit stop, uh, two pit stops ago. He had a slow one getting off of pit road. He was running about 15th there in that second group, and he's up here challenging for the lead. And looky, looky. I don't want to jinx anything, but look who is coming in the number 23. Defending champ. Defending Nordgar, or yeah, I don't even know the name of her own thing. I'm so excited! Uh, the defending Nortona 500 champion, Dustin Lee now in the top 10. Chris Scala in the okay. main group now. We got Mikey V running up there in the seventh position. Outside lane trying to get something done, but not working very well. They got four cars lined up on the outside, and these guys, they're racing now, guys. They're racing. They're not Shot riding. gave Dukes a nice push there in the three and almost got him clear. They're not riding around at this point. Well, 
What a great bunch of viewers we got out here. 150 strong. Let's get it up to 180. Let's, let's say, say, tweet it out. Hit the Facebook. Like I said, go over and shake your neighbor. Grab his throat. Tell him to watch this stuff. This has been one hell of a race so far. Uh, you say 180. I'm yeah, I'd like to see 200. I'm trying not to push it. But uh, we see Dukes Jr. there go from the outside lane down to the bottom to pick up two spots. He's up to third. David Shutt there in the 24 on the outside, being followed by the 37, the 83 of Townsend, who did get his lap back. And Townsend goes from being uh, last on the lead lap to eighth in like three laps. Good job, way to stay in it there for the 83 Cheerios machine. Running fifth, Rick Dukes Jr. in the 01 General Lee machine. And we got a guy below the yellow line trying to air, I mean, Coming down the back stretch, if you're down there on the inside, you got guys running on the outside, where are you going to go to air out your stuff? You got to get below that yellow line. However, we are running NASCAR rules. There is no passing below the yellow line. Three wide coming out of turn number four. Down through the tri-oval. Who's going to lift? That would be no one. Back to double file. 37 going to fall in position right there. Townsend going to lose a spot. I can't wait to see how many lead changes we have at the end of this one. Last year, we had 76 lead changes over, I think it was 21 different drivers. And for the point, Ryan Cobb trying to steal it from Justin Bolton down on the bottom. 24, David Shot Aliens got a hold of him. Ooh. That's bad. If he comes back into this field, the field is done. And there to the outside, Mikey V flying it to the outside lane, and he is going to get a suck up with that side draft, and he is going to pull himself from fifth to second here in just a second. I think I could say second at least two more times in that sentence. I'm not sure, though. 51 down on the bottom, and Bolton going to the outside. Now, we haven't seen Bolton run outside pretty much at all here today. Bolton going to the outside, trying to make something happen. Connor Anton down in the pits under that last wreck. Trying to get his race car fixed. Twenty-four car David Shutt finished twenty-one twenty-five. I he's not even on the track at the moment. I can't believe he hasn't fallen through yet. Ryan Cobb, Justin Bolton up front, two by two, 20 deep. No, that's not true. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 deep. Chance Crum receiving damage on that accident, and he is about to get overtaken by this lead group. Crum, one hell of a racer, guys. You got to admit, Chance will never give up, and he's always strong everywhere he goes, but just a little bit of bad luck there for the number 100. I'm going to go to the high side and watch the freight train go by. This is always depressing as a racer. But what are you going to do? You can't hold them up. And Bolton back to the point. Mikey V down to the bottom. Challenging the 37 of Randy Arms, Randy, uh, Randy, we have not talking about Randy Arms all day. Three wide, Bolton putting on a block. And that stuff isn't gonna fly for very long. But Bolton trying to use all the track and break the momentum of that outside lane because that outside lane seems to be quicker still. Down to the bottom goes Jeremy Dominique in the 34 Quaker State machine. 
75 laps to go. 150 miles left here at the Nortona 500. One caution flag on the day so far. 11 cars involved. And look who's sneaking up through the field now. The number seven chicken pit machine up into the top 10 now. Chris Scala moving forward. Scala to go though, a lot of bumper humping down through the trial while they're on the number 11 of Jones. Jones is a very, very good competitor and uh, we haven't spoken of him much of the night, but he's been laying back, biding his time and look at that number 11 car, there's not a scratch on it. Connor Anton is off of pit road right now, we do have a minimum speed. Uh, outside the draft, you must at least carry 175 miles an hour. If not, he will be black flagged and asked to park it. Bolton trying to pull away down there on the bottom. Mikey V up to second. Ryan Cobb back to third. Here comes Mikey V. Where's the rest of everybody else, guys? This is one group. Where's the rest of them? Where's everybody else? Nichols back there in 23rd. Putts in 22nd. Ryan Flood scored 29th. Munsell being involved in that wreck. 21st. Ariadne in 27th. Gable 30th. Anton back down to pit road. It may be done for He may be done. Yep. Anton got to park it. I don't think he could have kept the minimum speed with all that damage, guys. And that's going to be a sad end to the day of the number three lows. Checking in on Matt Simpson. Matt Simpson running 17th with a group of guys right now. He's got four or five of them with him. Cheney there on the outside. Yeah, Matt's got a lot of it. Coming up on Munsell now. We got a guy way below the yellow line. Guy's actually moving over for him. He's gonna keep it down there though. Nathan Hagar there in the number nine hex side ride. Ford Fusion, that's an old Jeff Burton scheme. I love that scheme. Butt's gonna go to the outside. He's gonna go a lap down. Take a look at the ticker across the top. Find your favorite driver. They're running three wide. Now oh, they back it off. That 51 of Cobb trying to get every ounce of side draft he can. Coming up on Munsell. I'm sure the leader's uh, screaming on the radio right now. Munsell gonna keep it low. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is bad, this is bad. Shuffling for position. I don't know how they got through that. There's still three wide behind them. Here comes the chicken pit machine running that high groove. <clears throat> He's gonna need some kind of slingshot off of that. Chicken pit gonna grab two spots. Bolton back to the front.
I'm speechless, guys. I don't know what to say. And that's really difficult for me to say that I'm speechless, but uh, I'm holding my breath. Somebody grab, uh, somebody grab Richard Schwint, bring him down here. Let's talk to Superman. Oh no, wait, oh, let's not, Mikey V turned around. Yellow flag number two is out to 75, gets turned, coming through the tri-oval. Make sure you're getting yourself something to drink there, buddy. Looks like they're all gonna get by him. Seventy-five of Mikey V. This is gonna be a heartbreaker here. Mikey V running fourth. Ryan Cobb gonna get into his left rear. Right there. Not given enough room trying to use all that side draft. Mikey V hard into the wall. That right front is destroyed. And now, yeah, there, right there. Who plows him? That's going to be the 42 of Brian Ray plows him. Nowhere for anybody to go. Take another look at it from so another number angle. Number 19 of Marcus Richardson's going to get the wave on this one. Yeah, Richardson going to get his lap back. It's exactly what he needed to happen. Just barely in front of that, but see Cobb come down off his line. Watch everybody else scramble. Mikey V does one great job keeping it up there along the wall. Usually, uh, usually you see him come back across the track, but Mikey V, a veteran here at Norgar TV, and uh, you know you got to give the kid a lot of credit for being a class act out there. It's really hard to, yeah, it, it's really simple to just say, throw your arms up and say, I don't care. And where I go is where I go. But Mikey V keeps it up into the wall. Let's take another look. Let's, uh, let's go, let's uh, drop a few back. Let's go on board with Dylan Landry through this. Landry got uh, damage there to the we left still front. still got 11. 11 gallons left, so just save me what you can. Uh, I think you hit the wrong button. Sorry. Gets clear of the accident. Uh, let's go on board with Mikey V. In the 75, let's take it to the gyro cam and uh, move it around. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right there. Mikey V going to be done for the night. I heard his engine go. Ah. Checkers are wreckers. Heartbreaks.